Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Here we are with you on Friday the 15th of October 2021 after another incredibly busy, busy week. Uh, to be honest with you, it's a little bit all over the place. It was a little bit disjointed because Monday it was sort of catching up, sorting everything else like that and moving our way through. And then on Tuesday, we were like this. So as you say, if you haven't seen it, we actually did our road trip. So yes, lightsaber lights has been pointed out, absolutely. So anyway, uh, this was me leaving at, you know, an incredibly early hour, 4.30 in the morning, uh, getting up and going off to Doncaster to go up and see Matt. And again, so I sort of vlogged it, so that's why there was nothing really up here on Tuesday. But as you can see, it was quite an early start, 5.5 degrees at quarter to five, leaving the house. Uh, down in there for a nice run up to uh, the uh, well South Yorkshire. So it is 269 miles as we found out in the sat nav there. And then when we were up there, I was up there obviously with Matt and we had a long overdue visit up to the store to see how it's going and obviously as I say Matt's a little bit snowed under at the moment as you can see uh, the store you know as I say I haven't been up there in a year um, has completely uh, been swamped by stock uh, new lines that we're doing and things like that so basically I vlogged the entire day so say so it's quite a bit of a poke it's almost a 600 mile round trip to do in a day uh, and we went up there and obviously me and Matt had some business things to sort out as well looking at obviously the future of the store what we want to do with it how we're going to expand it the new lines we're taking on what to do with the Beetle engine uh, so forth and so on right the way through but it was really good to get up there and get hands on again uh, with it uh, and try and make some decisions obviously in the future what we're going to be doing with it and those types of things so what we're going to do is um, the store's going to be completely ripped apart we've got new racking on order we've got new picking bins and all the various bits and pieces so me and the guys are going to be up there in a few weeks time and we're going to rip it apart and redo it thank you for all the kind offers of help but I think you know it's one of those things if we have too many people in there we're not going to be able to move so I think between the team we should be able to get it basically laid out of how we want to do it so we have a new system put in there and then it should make things a little bit nicer, a bit easier to find everything, that's for certain. Uh, and obviously, you know, just sort of streamlining the entire setup up there to make it a little bit better. Then hopefully in the very near future, we're going to have you guys back in for open weekends. So when we do the open houses and things like that, we can go through it. But anyway, that video went up uh, on Wednesday because obviously I had to come back and vlog it all. That's Matt doing his orders. And then obviously we're having a look at some of the models because upstairs on the mezzanine level, we've um, actually sort of dismantled the showroom side a bit, if you like, to make room for more stock and where we used to do the demos and the various bits and pieces up there just like that. So really that was what we were doing all in that particular show on uh, Wednesday. But say it was Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday was taken up doing all of this and then we were going through doing other things. So as you say, looks some nice models down in there as well of all the collection and things like that. So that was down on there. And then obviously on Wednesday itself, me and Matt, obviously I got back Tuesday night and then obviously we were up nice and early, up past nine doing the show where we were obviously discussing the store, the various bits and pieces, but obviously all the new lines and things like that, that are coming down as well so there's lots of that to see up on there and then because of it I brought back a load of reviews so I'm working my way through them so review went up with you yesterday this is for the Armour Hobbies beautiful Hurricane. So it's, I think, one of the finest Hurricanes in that scale, uh, without doubt. And then to add all the Eddard bits and pieces to it, so as you can see down in here, the photo etch that comes with it, colour photo etch for the interior, and then obviously we've got the resin bits, so we've got resin weighted wheels, we've got exhaust, the tail wheel, all the bits in there that go along to make a absolutely definitive, the best 70 second scale kit out there, barring none. There's nothing that's going to come close to this thing. I have built it as I say there is a full video build on this particular kit as well uh, that you can go off and see for members as well so again really very very nice you can see some great markings down in there and it is a dual combo so you do get two so you get two hurricanes in there so you get two full kits two full photo etch you know obviously all the sort of resin bits and everything to do both of them so that's really very very nice with all of those the other thing as well up to date the hind uh, as I say, I have done both of these reviews as standalone and I have linked them as well. So uh, you can just go off and see a far deeper dive into the kit parts. But obviously because these are reboxes, I've been focusing on the add-on bits if you like. But this is obviously the uh, Eddard's reboxing of the Zvezda Hind, which is a beautiful aircraft, although I still stand by it. It's very 
plain uh, could do with a little bit more detail on the actual surface detail on the actual body of the actual helicopter itself but anyway usual thing ton of photo etch we said before color big areas you've got all the decals that go with it you get the mask sets all the rest of it down in there one of the highlights though is the book the book is absolutely fantastic and especially for doing the Czech versions not so much obviously the Russian versions and things like that because they've got different sort of weapon loadouts and configurations and things like that but if you're building this particular kit this is what this book is all about so it is literally a deep dive into that one but you can see it's a beautifully detailed 148 scale hind let's face it it's definitely an upgrade on the old monogram one even though the monogram one surface detail on the outside i think was better get your head around that everyone uh, but you can see really nice lovely bit of photo etch to go in there and we've got 3d printed parts so we've got the very nice for the actual targeting system uh for the the sighting underneath although it doesn't do it so you can have the doors open but they would never open that long anyway uh but uh so they're in the clothes but as you can see not a lot of surface detail which is a real shame because behind itself is that big brute organic it, it looks good with all the riveting onto it obviously the entire surface is devoid of all the detail recessed panel lines but that's literally all you get so a little bit of a shame with that one but needless to say it's still probably the best in scale bar none so you can see some of the other bits down in there it is a beautiful kit but say with the book that comes along with it as well it really makes it something a little bit special that kit so i'd highly recommend getting that one and uh, i can see myself building that one in the future definitely so that's your two kits out there i have got some others uh to be honest with you down in here i've got uh, a few more coming your way as well which if i could see them we've got the b52h if you get a bit of time this afternoon i might get that one done this afternoon that'll be up with you early next week i've got the centurion down in here to do and i've got a hell diver as well so i'll get all of those done and then up for you as well over the next week as we make our way through so the big thing for me was obviously i brought back excuse me uh or a lot of kits have come back uh built ones which obviously because there's no room at the store i'm just going to turn that off because i think it's the guys at yapping so we turn that off uh, but I brought back tons so if you watch that video you know I brought them back so one of the ones down in here is the mozzie so again the thing was because it had been out in the open show seat did get a little bit dirty uh, as we go the way through so literally we're doing a little bit of assembly i've got a little bit of a weak engine mount down in here which hopefully i think there's just a tap of glue i think one of the engine mount legs has come off this one's absolutely fine but this one's a little bit loose i've already done a little bit of repair work on the canopy set up here and that is because the little legs had come off uh, on this one so we, we fixed that one down in there but generally the clean how to go about cleaning it so what i've got down in here i just put my overhead on for you you can see what i get down in here i've got literally a tissue with a bit of water so we just spray a little bit of water on here like that we pop that down at the side so if you've ever got a really dirty uh model you know uh, and you're into a situation where you you know it's grimy the surface is grimy it's dusty perhaps it's been sat on top of a shelf perhaps it's just been around and you want to give it a bit of a clean off this is how i go about doing it all right so basically what we do is we've got the water down in here we just put a little bit on the brush you're not flooding it we're not washing the model but certainly for areas down like this engine you've got all the dust and detail down in here so we just got a, a brush with that's damp it's not wet it's literally just damp and then all we do is lightly rub right the way over and what will happen is obviously the dirt and the grime and all the nasty bits will stick to the actual bristles of the brush and then be wiped off so to start with you could come along with a little bit of air just blow it all the way over try and get it off but this is the one so when you're coming down in here now rubbing it over you might see a little bit of moisture on here but it's not wet you're not soaking it and then we just come along and we wipe it down and then obviously you reload up and then obviously we just go along and we're just streaking. We're still going to go with the direction of airflow just in case anything lets loose. But we can just literally make our way right the way over the entire model just like that. And then back onto here, give it a wipe. So what you're doing is you're cleaning off all the junk and then obviously you're cleaning up the brush and reloading it. And then we just come down and we just walk our way around the middle here. And again, we can just pop down the tail. We just pick up and then we just rub but you rub it in the wet area and you might be able to see it's going a little bit brown down in here where we're obviously picking up some grime and junk and stuff and we just flip over and again if you get it a little bit too wet just rub a lot of this off and then you can just come along if it's just dust you can use other things so i've got down in here 
um, one of these anti-static brushes and you can tell me to do them as well and you can literally just come along and give them off but if this is grind on i.e it's not coming off or you're into an area perhaps down in here with engines we've got plumbing and wiring obviously it's difficult to get in there and you might knock bits free so by coming in with a brush and it's just a little bit of water and it's just a little bit damp it's enough to make all the dust stick to it and again things like gun barrels and stuff you don't want to be hammering them over but you can just get in here clean them all up and again you rub it on and you do it that way and that's how i go around and do it again airbrush normally just give it a blast get the dust off of it and then it's say big areas like wings you could use like an anti-static brush just to start rubbing it over but i can see some grime perhaps on the roundels and things like that so that's the nice thing you can just come in a little bit of moisture on the brush and you can just reactivate it drag it away get rid of it and then we just give it a dry and then we just flick it very lightly right the way over and let it air dry and it'll be absolutely fine and that's literally how i go around and do these and this wing over here is looking a little bit grimy still so we're just going to pop him and we just flip around and we're just going to flip right over it get most of it off but this, I don't know if you can see, it's going quite brown on this, where obviously it's picking up all the dirt and junk. And that's how we go around it. Same goes with the clear parts as well. So same on here. We're just going to give this a nice dust off just to get in amongst everything. And once it's off, we're just going to dry down and go across. And to be honest, I've done this. Uh, I used to do it as a service when I used to do commission work. Come back for a clean and various things. And again, once it's on there like that, Hopefully both the legs are all in. This can come in, click in. There we go, in there just like that. And it'll be ready and that's it. But just don't use anything but water, literally, because you don't want to put thinners on this. Certainly don't put airbrush cleaner or anything else because all you're gonna do is strip it uh, and go through. The other thing you might notice, sometimes decals after time, they can literally start to lift where they get old, especially if they're in direct sunlight. It doesn't hurt to give them another coat of setting solution just over the top and then let it do its bit. So if you found out your decals are starting to lift a little bit, can be a little bit of a weak spot with it. A little tiny bit of a setting solutions right over it. Let it do its bit, leave it for a couple of days to totally go off. And then you can just re-weather on top and various things to keep them going. But one of the hardest points is around engines and stuff. By using a damp brush like this and just coming along, you can actually get in amongst everything without pinging bits off and damaging things uh, and stuff like that. And just really give them a really nice sort of clean, get in amongst it all you're good to go same goes with props and spinners so again damp brush right over them catch all the grime and again you should be fine to then reseat again things can come unglued and if they have you can just go back and i recommend using a tiny bit of super glue just pop it in dry it in and away you go so again this one is pretty much ready there's a little bit in there they say it just needs a little bit to pop this one in i think uh, to get that back to hold nicely there's a little bit of wiggle movement in there and again i think it's one of the arms but it's deep down in there and i can't see exactly where that is but apart from that she's all back she's all done she's all clean i'm ready to go back on display the only trouble i've got is where to put all of these things so uh anyway we should be good with that one so anyway that's really just a quick tip about cleaning up your model. Just take your time with it, nice and gentle with it, and you'll be fine. But I've got them on the top here, like most of us have, and they're absolutely covered in dust, and we often joke about it. But honestly, a little bit of just tap water on this. Don't over flood it, and you'll be absolutely fine, and that's the secret to it. Right, that is about it for me. Nice and short and sweet. As I say, there's no building this week because we've been really getting on. Don't forget, though, there is various things on the site. So we've actually got the tutorials area. So if I just step over here, don't forget, these are still ongoing and I'm going to be back at this next week as well, because obviously this next part of the Spitfire will be up with you. But if you do want to learn more about it, obviously it's down in here. You can go through and we've got all the bite sized bits and pieces just down in this one as well. So we're going to be going through all of those and updating them as we make our way through on there. And then obviously I'm going to be then starting on my next project, which is the actual Tula, uh, which is the Delta Four, is it? Or uh, Submarine as well. So I'm going to be working on that next week as we make our way through anyway that's it from me happy modeling take care as always on a friday i'm going to leave you with your great work for the gallery so till monday everybody happy modeling take care